What's up guys? My name is Dallas, aka Inferness. Welcome back to another episode of The Ticket Realm. Today, if you want to learn how to make great custom maps for Minecraft, then you've come to the right place. You are about to be instructed on how to do that. There's a great hype for people wanting to build Minecraft adventure maps nowadays, and uh, there's not really a single tutorial uh, going over the basics on what you need to do to actually create a successful Minecraft adventure map. So, um, essentially, we have a setup right here, and this is my uh, current in-progress Minecraft adventure map. So, I'm going to be showing you behind the scenes of this. Alright, so this is going to be an adventure map, right? It's clearly not done. So, I want to make it so if you walk in this area, it lights up, and it sends a signal over here. Um, I had this disconnected right here, but um, as you can see... Yeah, we walk in here, or go away. We walk in here, or it goes away. Okay, so, how do you do this? Well, let's let's go over the basics. You're gonna need command blocks. If you're gonna be doing this in survival mode, well, good luck. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, have this basic setup, right? You're going to need this, if you want to make this kind of a, a, um, a setup right here. But let's get into that later. The first thing that you want to do, and this is the most important, is you want to disable the command block output because in an adventure map you're going to be using a lot of command blocks and there's going to be a lot of commands that you're going to be using to make the things happen in the adventure map right but you don't want you know the player seeing every single second like commands going up on here right that's going to be very obvious it's going to ruin the vibe of the adventure map so in order to stop it from doing that you're going to need this one special command and i'm going to show you that right now it's going to be a game rule command so you type in game rule, slash game rule, and then you do tab, and then you're gonna find this, right? Right after it says command block output, don't don't change anything else. Just create a false right next to it. Don't put capitalized letters or anything. Just like that. And that's how you do it. And as you can see, now that it's turned on, it's gonna show all the commands right here. And you don't want that happening because when you're doing an adventure map and this shows up right here, it's gonna say object successfully summoned. It's going to ruin everything. It's going to make everything look terrible. So make sure that you have this thing set to false. It's a it's a ne it's not even necessary. It's pretty much required. So now, whoops. There you go. It's not going to it's not going to show up. So that's great, right? Now, bats. Bats are fantastic, aren't they? They're just they're getting up all in your face. They spawn in dark places. And if you want to make a dark and creepy adventure map, they're going to be flying all over the player. And they're gonna be all up in your business, right? Alright, so you know how they're flying around, right? And they're all just beautiful. They're not annoying whatsoever. And they're all just making those beautiful chirping sounds. And you just love it, right? Well, let's say you don't particularly like it. And you want to get rid of them for some odd reason. So, what you need to do for this is make this contraption. You go and you take three command blocks. On the first command block, you copy this. I'm just gonna give you a moment to pause the video so you can copy that. Second command block right here, you copy this. Pause the video again. And in the back one right here, you copy this. Pause the video for the third time. And after that, if you've done everything right, take a redstone block, hold shift, and right click. And there you go. All the bats are now dead. And they will never respawn. I don't know how it works, just it works. So that gets rid of our bat problem. Um, what other necessary things do we need to know in order to make a successful adventure map? Well, let's take a look. We're going back over here, right? This is what I was talking about before. Everyone wants to know how to trigger commands by not even touching anything. Well, there is one way of doing this, and there is something called a test for command. Basically what this does is to take a crafting table, or not a craft- oh, god damn it. So everyone wants to know how to trigger commands by not even pressing anything, because usually back in the day, um, you would have to take something like a, one of these things, or whatever, put them on the ground, uh, if we can, and then it's like, oh, that's not obvious, um, oh, oh, okay, I didn't see that there, uh, no, I, I totally don't notice this right here. But now you don't have to worry about that, because you have this, and this is called a test 4 command. First, what you need to have is a command block. Click on the command block, and you copy this code, and you put it into the console command, slash test 4 at p brackets r equals whatever you want that's how far you want the player to be before the command activates and then you do the brackets again and that means once the player 
goes into that certain radius, it's going to activate whatever command that whatever command that you have next. If you want to get a good title code generator, you go on Google and search up. So this is what I'm talking about right here. Um, this is what the website looks like. I'll have a link in the description. And essentially, you customize your title right here on this page. And once you're done, you're going to go ahead and copy the command on the bottom of the screen. I'm not sure where, exactly where it is. And basically, this is where you customize your title commands. And these are really efficient for the Minecraft Adventure Maps. And the reason is because, well, if you want to do a Minecraft Adventure Map, it's really classy if you want to do a title, right? You're entering the map and all of a sudden, boom, you have this luscious, delicious title. And it's all like, oh my god, that's so cool. Well, this is the easiest way of doing it. Now, what is this? Why is this blinking? Why is it doing this? Can you tell me how to do this? Okay, so what you need to do in order to cause this. All right, let's go over here so we have an example, right? You're going to take the redstone. And you're going to put it on the side, just like so, in this exact setup. Put the redstone torch right here. Put that right there. Take another redstone torch. And you place it right here. You can delete this now. And here you go, you have this setup. Now, why is this important? Why do we need to have this blinking over and over again? You can go ahead and take a redstone comparator and put it right here, facing this way. It can't be facing any other way or else it's not going to work. It has to be facing this way, with the same setup going on in the background. And it, transmit a, it transmits a very, very low redstone signal every single time the player gets within a certain distance that you set up right here. By the way, you want to put this command in the command block that you're using to create this setup in or else it's not going to work. And then, well, you only have a, a very, very small redstone signal right here. So what you need to do is just simply put a repeater right there. And there you go. That's how you trigger it. <laughs> Now, whenever you go within a certain distance of this, like I said, you can customize it right here. It triggers this current. And I'm just going to put this current right here, so it's going to show up. As you can see, it says No End House. That's the name of the map. And let's say I go into this area again. And there it is, No End House. I didn't trigger anything, I didn't press any buttons, there's no secret little base plates right here. Here's the setup. The redstone goes all the way over here to this block. And this is basically the title block. Now, like I said earlier, in order to get titles for your custom adventure map, you're going to want to go to a website called minecrafttitlegenerator.com or something around those lines, and then just customize the title. And then just copy the code it gives you and put it into the command block right here, wherever you... Don't, don't try to edit it or don't try to do anything like that because you're probably going to get it wrong and mess everything up. And then once you're done with that, just place the command block, put it right here, and there you go. Alright, so now every single time I go over there, not only is the same thing going to happen on that side, but the current's going to travel all the way through here and activate this. This is going to be the subtitle, a uh, secondary title that I want in my adventure map. You don't technically need two. Um, if you're going to be making a normal Minecraft adventure map, I'd recommend going with just one because that's good enough. But um, in this case, I want to do two because I'm going to do the title and then I'm going to make a very, very small delay over here. So right here at this part, it's going to show my name, created by Infernus. The last thing I want to show you guys is this right here. Now, I'm pretty sure I created this technique, but I'm not entirely sure. There could be someone who's done it before me. But what this does is essentially breaks the redstone current right after a current travels through here. So it traps the current in this loop right here. So let's say um, I activate this by stepping within the radius. And the current goes over here. It's going to activate this. It's going to destroy the current. And it's going to trap it up in here, kind of like that, except it's going to be a lot slower. So let's do that right here. So as, we, as you can see, even if we turn the current off, it's still going to keep going. And what this does is, if we go into the actual room, it's going to activate the light. So it's going to be a good blinking light effect. Let's say you want to make a kind of like a slash say command. So like if you enter a certain room, it's going to create a command but not a title command, kind of like in the command section right here, but it's going to be different, if you know what I'm saying. If it's going to look like this, you're going to have to do this code right here. And as you can see, I got this code from the same website I was talking about before. That's room 2, that's room 1, and then room 3, okay? So these all say the same thing except for the, the 1s, 2s, and 3s. And you change that by just changing this right here. That's pretty easy. Well, guys, that's the basics on how you create... A Minecraft adventure map. There's not that many videos explaining or giving you tips on how to create 
a Minecraft adventure map, but this is definitely going to work. It's going to give you the basics and the absolute necess necessities that you need to know in order to make a successful Minecraft adventure map. After you've learned all these things, you should be able to learn by yourself from this point on, and this is what my particular adventure map looks like at this point. So let's go ahead and find out and see what all these things do. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you do leave a like, kill that like button, and click that subscribe button if you want the drugs. And by the drugs, I mean my content. So, go ahead and do that. It's going to be great. And if this did actually help you, once again, press that like button.